Open title winning the 93rd edition of the race from Peter Maritzburg to Durban in commanding fashion with a time of 5 hours 26 minutes and 39 seconds. It is Mtembo's third victory in the race having previously won the down run in 2014 in addition to last year's up run. And fellow South African Joseph Mpoti finished second in a distant 5.35.14 clock while Great Britain's Stephen Way stormed through the field to take the final podium spot in a 5.35.31 minutes. South Africa's uh, duo of uh, Anne Ashworth and uh, Garda Stain took the one and second, first and second posi positions respectively, and they were followed by Russia's Alexandra Morozova to finish the women's podium. But here are the highlights. Bong Musa Mtembu, his second down run victory, and it is a personal best for him. Five hours, 26 minutes, and about 35 seconds. Probably the best, the one he'll remember. Back to back victories for Bong Musa Mtembu, his second down run victory, and it is a personal best for him. Five hours, 26 minutes, and about 35 seconds. And uh, we'll and get that official down. time for you. And he kneels down. He did it again. This is the moment I was waiting for. Very spiritual young man. This this is what he does, thanking the Almighty for seeing him, for carrying him through. What I think is so remarkable, actually looking at second place now, is the gap that Bongosa put into the field. Because, I mean, they were all together in Pine Town, and suddenly, um, I mean, 10 minutes, he put a 10 minute gap on them, which is remarkable. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And over that last distance, like we said, it's about a half marathon. He opened up, as you say, about 10 minutes over the rest. And this man as well will be ecstatic. You can see it there. He is ecstatic. Ninth place finish last year. He makes it onto the podium. She finishes here in the first position for the women. Anne Ashworth, six hours, 10 minutes. That's quite a good time for her as well as she comes in here at the moment. And uh, we'll see what her eventual winning time will be it will be just over six hours and ten minutes in fact six hours ten minutes and three seconds Erdestein almost almost pulled a Caroline on us but not this year it didn't happen well done to her and she's uh, look at her I mean she's just incredible lipstick still intact I promise you if you zoomed in you'll see that the lipstick is still intact <laughs> Lipstick still intact. Let's take a look at now at some live action from the comrades now. Really well, and you actually get that energy um, as you start to realize that you're getting closer and closer to home, and you're able to pick up the pace and finish the race faster. And in fact, in a race like the comrades, a negative split makes so much sense because of just the the logic behind it. But also, if you look at the route profile on the down run, the first half of the race isn't really down. It's only when you pass Drummond and go down Bertha's Hill that you see the real downhill so you should theoretically be going faster on the second half. Yeah definitely the first 22 kilometers of comrades really are uphill so so getting to all that downhill in the second half you should be able to go faster but the problem is, is that you really have a lot of mileage in your legs at that time and your legs are tired so it's difficult to. Yeah also I think important British rider Gareit Thomas extended his overall lead on the penultimate stage of the Criterium du Dauphin on Saturday when he finished second behind Spain's Pelo Belbayo. Following stage winner Bill Bayo, the team Skyrider pulled away from the chasing group which included Adam Yates, Dan Martin.